Hey, Steve here. In this video, I'll show you an overview on how X Factor staking the software works. Okay, I'll try and keep it as brief and cover what I can in it. First of all, you will see here we've got the real entry tab, and this is our actual spreadsheet which is built into the software. That we have 10 of them, so we can bet 10 different staking plans as we go. At the moment, we're on sheet 3, but if I click on sheet 1, this is one that I'm already using. Okay, so we have the real entry stake, uh, real entry spreadsheet. We have a simulated spreadsheet. What this does, this simulates 10,000 bets or less, depending if the Reserve Bank um, loses all its money. You can put in the odds and the parameters, and you can run simulations. So if we've just at the moment got uh, 10,000 10, in the bank, and we're going to run 10,000 simulations, our basic aim um, is to win. For a winning bet, we want to win three units. Our average odds is going to be 3.5. Our danger signal is going to be 10%. That's 10% of the um, target that we're aiming for is 10% or more above the reserve bank, then a transfer will happen. And our win rate, we're going to average 33% wins. And our odds are 3.5. And we're not using the bookie, so there's no commission. And you can use this one too if you want to use randomized SP odds between 1.5 and 5 but let's just stick with what we've got there all we need to do if you want to see them up here we can click to display them and then we can run the simulation and bang like that we've run 10,000 simulations to these parameters here and you can see that we've made 16,900 profit on the basis of 33% win rate at odds of 3.5 so um, it tells us the reserve bank is at 7,000 and the basic bank is at 19,000. We had 33.7% winners and we had a losing streak of 19. Now if we just run a simulation again, this will, even though it's the same parameters, this will change. Now we've got a losing sequence of 18 uh, losing bets, but we've made 20,000 profit and uh, we had 3,400 winners. So you can change these and you can run the parameters to see uh, how they would go. Let's just have a look at these randomized odds. If we click on that, you can see they're using between 1.25 and 5 on a 33% win rate. We have actually lost 3,300. Run it again, we've lost 600. And you can see it stopped at 1,700 bets because our reserve bank dropped below zero. And we run it again, and we can see we only got 14, 1,400 and our reserve bank is below zero. So that's using 1.25 to 5 odds at a 33% win rate. Well, you'd expect a better win rate if uh, uh, more of your bets are, say, in the odds-on territory. Let's untick that and do one more run. And we can see there now we're back up to 16,000 profit. So that's the simulation uh, spreadsheet. But obviously what you'll be using most of the time is the real entry spreadsheet. And you can run 10 different staking plans and these parameters can be different on all 10 of them. The only thing that would be the same on all these is the grand total bank would be. This accumulates all the running spreadsheets that you have running at any one time will be accumulated here. Okay. When you um, deactivate a sheet, say like um, we wanted to say we finished with sheet one here and we deactivated it, the, the profit or well, the bank total of this would come off this figure here. Okay, we can delete the last bit, and this is our help file. If we click on here, here is our help file, which this gives you the whole theory of the X staking plan and gives you an example of what happens using the plan and not using the plan. And we have our step by step instructions on how to set up the new spreadsheet. Uh, for each time you start. Now we call it spreadsheet because it uses Excel in the background but I must stress you do not need to have Excel. It's all handled by the software. It's built into the software. All you need is Windows to run this um, software. So you can see there I've got a series of horse races up here and uh, I'll just put another entry in here. Even though it has home team, away team, this is set up because originally it was set up for football, but it works on all sports. 
So all we need to do is highlight that and if we just put in the new race, we might be putting in Randwick race 9. And you can see there it's already put that in there. And the odds that we're getting here are 3.4. And we calculate the stake now and it tells us we need to put on two units. We've got rounded up ticked. If we had it unticked and we put calculate state, you can see there it's come to 1.5. We'll tick that again. So basically now we know what we've got to put on this horse. So we put the stake on there, you put the bet on manually, whether it be the bookie, the TAB, Betfair, wherever you're betting. And wait for the result. I mean, you can save this if you wanted to go on and do another bet in, say, sheet two. You can do another bet here, and then when you know the result of race one or of the Randwick race nine, then you just go back into here and continue. Say, so we lost that one, so we click that and it records the loss, and we get ready for the very next bet. So that is how simple and easy it is. You, if you win, you tip win and push the calculate button. If you lose, you highlight loss and keep, click the calculate, calculate button. If you make a mistake, and say in that round one we made a mistake, we can, we can, do you want to clear last bet? We can clear the last bet there. Sorry, so we've cancelled, so we've cleared it and we may say the bet actually won, we put it lost. So you can clear bets that way. Or you can deactivate the whole sheet. We can tick that and deactivate the whole sheet and it will wipe out sheet one and take the total off the bank here. Okay, so it's very easy to use, but it's a very effective math, maths behind the X Factor staking plan. So I hope you see the merit and get involved with it. It's a truly powerful one and allows you, as you can see in those simulations, some big run of outs and without breaking the bank. But of course, any staking system is only as good as your selection. So don't expect that if you have absolute terrible selections that this will turn, uh, turn into a miracle maker for you. You must appreciate you'll have runs of wins, runs of losses, and that the X Factor staking is designed to handle the um, increasing bets when the winds are going with you but also to manage the bank when you're getting those long losing streaks which unfortunately always seem to happen at the wrong time. So thanks for watching X Factor Staking. I'm sure you'll find it very beneficial to your betting and I wish you all the best. This is Steve signing off. Until next time, thank you.